Hello and welcome everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk about math in Roblox Studio. I had this comment uh, recently about someone asking me how I knew about math.py, math.rad, uh, and I just told them it was experience and that it just comes along when learning scripting. So today um, I'm just going to cover one topic and I'm going I'm to do another one uh, in the future. So this topic is going to be about radians and you might have heard of that. Um, it's in the word math.rad, in the keyword, I mean. And um, radians is basically um, another angle unit. Uh, we got, for example, we have degrees. So we could say like 360 degrees. But we also have radians. A radians is different. It's um, a very universal angle unit. Because if you think about it, uh, 360 degrees is quite random. Like, why do we pick 360? while well, radians are using um, a very logical unit. What I keep in mind is um, math.py rads is the same as 180 degrees. Um, I can draw this out for you. So let me pull up paint. There you go. Uh, sorry for my beautiful drawing. So what I said here is 180 degrees equals math.py radians. And since Roblox uses radians, we'll just have to learn this and uh, keep this in mind when scripting, um, when doing anything related to angles in Roblox. And this is something um, commonly used in C frames. So let's grab a dummy right there. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to delete any scripts inside of it. Okay, so now we got that set up. I'm just going to put a script in the workspace and define the noob, so local noob. Workspace dot new. Um, so uh, I'm assuming you're already familiar with C frames. If not, uh, you could probably learn by just watching. So we can set the C frame of this noob model by saying noob pivot to, and then we put the target C frame. Um, we can construct our C frame by saying C frame dot new, and then we put the coordinates. Um, but in this case, I just want to get the noob's uh, position by saying new get pivot this is the c frame we can apply an angle on this uh, c frame by multiplying it by c frame dot angles and then we can put the angle right here and these numbers these are um, the angles in radians so if you want to rotate this noob by 180 degrees like that we'll have to say math.py on the y-axis this way it's going to rotate 180 degrees on the y-axis like this, remember? Because math.py radians equals 180 degrees. So when we try out this script, you will see that it will face the other way. Okay, so that is uh, one of the main things I wanted to say in this video. Um, I use this quite often, instead of saying math.rad 180, it's just a lot more things to write, so I like to put math.py instead. I also use it when I want to rotate it only 90 degrees, right? If 180 degrees equal to math.py radians, then 90 degrees would equal to a half. So 0 0.5 times math.py radians. Okay, um, so in that case, I would just say math.py divided by two. And that, then he would face uh, the right, so, sorry, the left, there we go. Um, also, if you want to like rotate it like um, one and a half, so it would uh, face that way. Uh, and this is why math.py is pretty useful. It has more use cases, but uh, this is one of the main things I use it for. And I think that's about it for math.rad and math.py. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments, and I will try to make more uh, future videos about uh, math related to Roblox. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.